Yo, so I was thinking as I listened back to my own recordings about resource and about high talks and about close form mm-hmm. and about psychic and all these other ideas, they could be massively popular very quickly if people resonate with them. And I believe that that's the point. I'm talking about resonating with something. And it seems to be there. It seems to be actually there in the background. And um, maybe it's subconscious. Maybe experience it in weird times. But there's there's truth to what I'm talking about. Right? And it's not trying to sound preachy. It's just trying to tell a story. That's all it is. All of this is information from... um, uh, some i don't know oddly genius source and um called inspiration you know and it just feeds us these truths um and when we explore them and they start to unravel and characters come out and and information comes out it all sounds really plausible and so you're curious to explore more anyway that's how much gravity that this um, resource idea has. And then through Higher Talks as the podcast platform to kind of launch it and be on socials. Um, whereas resource, the project, can be about this story with these characters and it be a show, right? An actual show to produce so that it's on Netflix or whatever. Um, and then it can become hugely successful on that platform. So that's got so much potential, I think, um, resource has, and all all of this stuff. The higher talks, I think, hmm, now maybe higher talks starts to branch off and separate uh, into its own podcast category and, and dominate that way in its own right as like a standalone thing. But then later on, um, on the run-up to launch of a resource, then the higher pod can... The higher pod, the higher podcast, not higher talk. Hmm, higher talk. It could start off as the Higher Talk podcast because I'm giving Higher Talk. Um, And then it's all about other people engaging in Higher Talk. Um, Not just literally, but figuratively. Um, they, They engage themselves in higher forms of talk and thought. And then they refer that as being Higher Talk. It'll be like a commonly known noun uh, where was I going with this classic um, right <laughs> I'll get to the point these names are brands and I should protect them so I don't have the kind of budget right now to um, start investing in starting up a new business costs with incorporating the the business and all that stuff doing it properly like that but i still need to hold the ip right and so you can't really register ips as like thoughts and stories and stuff and ideas Uh, i don't know if you can do that quite easily and without any money but i think the smallest amount I could do initially is register or trademark the brand name. So at least, so at least that's registered, um, and I can put that personally. I can register that to myself, right? Just as an individual, I don't have to be incorporated. Um, so so then I can build uh, a brand around that because I've already registered the name, um, which means paying for being a properly registered incorporated company and all that stuff. And then, and then you, you launch your whole brand and your business, so you have to make loads more, more investments at that time of launch. But until then, 
I still need to protect my IP. And so, <clears throat> and so, yeah, I will make a note to register my project brands. <clears throat> Yeah.